Geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're looking at O&O App Buster. A really nice way to remove all the apps and windows that come with windows that you don't want. We probably have dozens and dozens of ways of doing this on Major Geeks. A lot of them are PowerShell scripts and can really take everything off your machine and not necessarily allow you to put it back. What O&O App Buster does is brings to the table the ability to remove them and then bring them back if you change your mind later. The app is portable. It'll look like this. So you simply double click it and it will run for you. Make sure you put it somewhere where you can keep it in case you change your mind. I tell you this because, as you can see, this configuration file right here is going to keep track of what you added, what you removed. So if you change your mind, it knows and it can put it back. So make sure you know where it's at and keep it there for a while. Don't just run the app and then delete it. Let it sit on your machine for a while till you're sure you removed what you wanted. So here's the interface. Pretty easy. You can list by name. You can list by the status, which is either installed or available. Available meaning you already removed it. The users and the storage space. One of the things you're going to want to probably do before you start is create a system restore point. Now these O&O &O guys are pretty cool. They got a nice privacy tool called Shut Up. Uh, their defrag utilities have been out forever and one of the best on the market. Solid, solid company. I trust them, but I still would create a system restore point just in case. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove, let's say I'll pick Xbox because it's easy enough to do. And you'll notice that you have the normal category, hidden category, store category. Go over here to the help. There's a very short guide, which is really all you need for this program. It's so easy to use. And you can see normal, hidden, and store. This is what you're going to see. And they do explain to you system and framework. You're not going to see this stuff because you could break your machine. Those are basically hard-coded or they rely on other apps or other apps rely on them. Removing them could cause problems. You will not have that option. Well, let's go. Xbox. We'll start with that. Bada bing. There's that one. Yes, I know I didn't create a store restore point. I always keep it off. I have an image. Doo -doo. So as you can see, click on here. If you're not sure what it is, which can be handy in a couple things like HEIF image extensions, you're like, what? But you might have to look that stuff up or, as always, leave it alone if you don't know what it is. So I have checked all the Xbox stuff. All you got to do now is click on remove right here. You will get the warning about not backing up if you didn't create a restore point. And you want to decide here if you want to use current user or all users. So if you have multiple users, you want to clean everything make your decision now once you click OK there's no status bar progress bar nothing just click OK and there it is there's your create a system restore point warning and now notice there's no status bar kind of a one of the minimal shortcomings here not a big deal if you select dozens of these you might be sitting here for a while with no idea where the status is so if you select more than just a few please just wait and be patient and we click OK and we're done. Now, as you can see, let's go down to the Xbox. You can now see what was removed because, as we mentioned, it is now available. Xbox, available, available, available because we removed it. So, let's say I change my mind and I want to put it back. I just want the game bar. Let's install it. That's it. Click right there. Click right there. Should be pretty quick. And, as you can see, the Xbox game bar, once this refreshes, is now installed. Pretty easy, right? You have 92 apps, in my case, available. Everybody's going to be a little different depending on what you put in and what you didn't put in. Don't forget to save it for a while so that you have your configuration file. And basically, that's it. You can jump up here at any point as well. And you could do action remove, which is no different than clicking these buttons here. And the view lets you look at different stuff. And here is, I was almost going to leave it be, your system apps and your framework apps. Once again, I recommend you leave it off unless you really, really know what you're doing. So let's take a look. There's a lot of them in there. And you really, boy, you really don't want to mess with these unless you really know what you're doing. So it's got the ability. So for you hardcore geeks, techs, you know what you're doing, go ahead. Turn system apps and framework apps on. Everybody else, if you're just looking to clean your machine, there's very, very little advantage to be messing around with the system apps and the framework apps when you have as many as... 80 or 90 apps sitting here that you're not using it can really get rid of and, and help you run your machine a little bit better. So there you go. 
a link will be provided in the video for you to download it. There is a little thing over here to subscribe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, like the video if you liked it. Or, hey, like it if you didn't like it. I don't know. Hey, thanks for watching. See you next time.